Okay, so we're here with our working app and our code. Let's go ahead and try and add an image into the header where the white collar coding quiz text is. So I've gone ahead and got the image that I want to insert into my app. Let's go ahead and put it in there. To insert our image, we need to move the image file into the same folder as the app files. I'm just going to drag the image from the desktop into that folder. And you can see that all the files are right in the same directory, all next to each other. Good, so let's remember what we're doing here. We want to put our image right there where it says white collar coding quiz. So there's where the HTML is. I'm just going to delete it, refresh the browser, and you can see that it's gone now. Don't forget to hit save when you're changing the code. So I'm just adding in the image tag now, leaving out the source attribute just for now. Also including an alt attribute, which I'm just gonna name logo. This is whatever you wanna call it, but being that my image is a logo, I'll go ahead and call it logo. Now we need to tell the code where the location of the file is. So if you remember, we've actually put that file in the same folder as all the rest of them. So all I need to do is call the name. Important fact, when you're calling the name of your file, remember to put the file extension. So for me, that's logo.png, as it showed me before. If you're not sure of the file extension, simply right click on the file and go to properties. It should tell you there. So I've saved my code, refreshed the browser, and because my image is too big, it's broken. It. So we're gonna have to go and change the code. I need to select the image tag. So I'm gonna write header img, which selects the image inside the header. Now I'm just gonna change the height and let's put it to about 30 pixels. Hitting save, refreshing the browser, and that looks much better. Just to make sure that everything's gonna work okay, our header h1, which was the text, has a float left to allow the reset button to go on the right. So we're gonna put a float left on our image just to make sure everything works okay. Great, that's our image in our app. One thing though, you can see that the reset button is now slightly out of line because the image is in there. So because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I'm gonna change this. The height of the image is 30 pixels. So we're gonna go down to the header nav A, which is that reset button, and assign a line height of 30 pixels. Hit save, refresh, and that gets the reset perfectly aligned in the center of the header. Nice. Right, ladies and gents, if you've stuck with me this far, kudos to you. So, a little bit more advanced now, we're actually gonna make the reset look like a button rather than just text. So, first things first, put a background on it. What color you say? I would recommend going to a website called flaturicolors.com, it's about the American way, and select from one of the awesome colors. Because my brand is red, I'm gonna click this red here. When I click it, it automatically copies to my clipboard. So all I have to do is go to the code and paste. So I just paste that, save the code, refresh the browser, and you can see the background has been applied. But we can't exactly see what it says. So, of course, next thing, changing the color. Just gonna put color white here, nice and easy. We want it to look like a button, so it needs more of an area. Gonna put some padding, 10 on the top and bottom, and 20 pixels on the left and right. Hit save, refresh, and look at that. That's good to go, but I'm just gonna add some finishing design touches here. Gonna make the illusion of being 3D, so I'm putting a border bottom on it, three pixels, solid and I'm using RGBA to put a transparency on it so it's just a darker shade to the color that it already is. So that's that there and you can see it's given us sort of like a 3D effect. Because the text is now not perfectly centered I'm just going to change the bottom padding to include that border. So now that text is perfectly centered vertically. That's one nice looking button. Just by adding an image and a button, that's totally transformed the way our header looks in our app. Thank you for continuing to be awesome.